The history of Earth's continental crust is a saga of drifting and colliding landmasses, forming and breaking apart through immense geological forces. Among the earliest recognised supercontinents, Nuna, which existed between 1.8 to 1.2 billion years ago, represents a key period in Earth's tectonic evolution. A crucial aspect of its configuration is the long-standing connection between the North China Craton and the North Australian Craton. These two ancient continental fragments, once thought to be isolated entities, have been revealed through paleomagnetic, geological, and geochemical evidence to have been intimately linked for nearly 450 million years. This connection played a fundamental role in shaping the geological character of both cratons and provides insight into the broader processes governing supercontinent assembly and fragmentation. This is the fascinating story of the link between North China and the Northern Territory of Australia. In this video we'll discuss how two ancient cratons, once joined within the supercontinent Nuna, shared a deep geological history shaped by tectonic forces, magmatic events, and evolving ecosystems leaving behind a lasting imprint on the Earth's crust that scientists continue to unravel today. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like the video, as it's the best way to support this channel. Paleomagnetic studies offer a window into the past, tracing the ancient latitudes of continents through the magnetization locked in their rocks. Data from both cratons show that at around 1.78 billion years ago, their paleopoles align, suggesting that they occupied a common geographic domain within Nuna. The significance of this alignment cannot be overstated, as it indicates that these two landmasses were not only close in proximity, but also moved as part of a unified tectonic system. At approximately 1.32 billion years ago, further paleomagnetic evidence confirms their continued association, revealing that their relative positions remained stable for much of Nuna's existence. The orientation of coeval dike swarms in both regions suggests that they were affected by the same magmatic mantle plume, further reinforcing the idea of a shared tectonic history. Geological records from both cratons paint a strikingly similar picture. The Yanlao Rift in North China and the Macarthur Basin in North Australia exhibit remarkable sedimentary parallels. Between 1.7 and 1.6 billion years ago, both regions experienced extensive clastic sedimentation interspersed with minor carbonates, including dolostone deposits dated at 1.64 billion years. This depositional pattern suggests that both regions were subjected to similar environmental conditions and may have been part of an extensive interconnected basin system. The presence of early eukaryotic microfossils in both the Lower Changcheng group of the North China Craton and the Malapanya formation of the North Australian Craton suggests that these environments fostered similar biological evolution. Fossil evidence provides one of the most tangible connections between these two regions, highlighting their shared ecological and oceanic conditions during the Proterozoic. Geochemical studies provide further confirmation of this deep connection. Mafic magmatic events in both cratons occurred synchronously, with strikingly similar geochemical signatures. At around 1.73 billion years ago, the Mian Dolerite dikes of the Yanliao Rift share mineralogical and chemical affinities with the Owen Pally Dolerite seals in the Macarthur Basin, suggesting they originated from the same deep mantle source. The most compelling evidence, however, comes from the massive 1.32 billion year old Large Igneous Province event, a flood basaltic eruption of enormous proportions. During this time, the Datong Dike and Yanliao seals in North China, and the Galiwinku dike swarm and Derim Derim seals in North Australia erupted in unison, marking a widespread magmatic event likely triggered by the same mantle plume. The presence of these geochemical fingerprints across both cratons offers a compelling narrative of their shared evolution within Nuna. The mineral wealth of both cratons provides yet another link in their geological histories, Dollarstone hosted manganese deposits appear in both regions, in the Jishang group of North China and the Nathan group of North Australia. The geochemical composition of these deposits are nearly identical, indicating that they formed under similar marine conditions. Iron formations also share common characteristics, with the stratiform siderites and hematite-bearing rocks of the Shimmerling Formation in North China 
closely resembling those found in the Sherwin Formation of Australia. These mineral deposits tell a story of interconnected oceanic and sedimentary processes, reinforcing the notion that these two cratons shared a common marine environment for hundreds of millions of years. Even the potential for hydrocarbon generation in both cratons is remarkably similar. Organic rich mudstones from the Changcheng and Shimaling formations in North China, as well as the Macarthur and Roper groups in North Australia, display high total organic carbon contents. These deposits, formed under comparable marine conditions, exhibit similar kerogen compositions and biomarker signatures, further solidifying the idea that the cratons were part of the same extended basin system within Noona. The tectonic histories of the North China and North Australian cratons also provide important clues to their shared past. The 1.6 to 1.5 billion year old Isanorogeny, which profoundly shaped North Australia, coincides with compressional tectonics and deformation events in North China. Later, between 1.45 and 1.35 billion years ago, both cratons experienced extensional tectonic regimes, hinting at a period of simultaneous rifting. The eventual breakup of their connection, at 1.32 billion years ago, was likely driven by widespread mantle plume activity, marking the beginning of Nuna's fragmentation. This final separation was characterized by pre-magmatic uplift and large-scale dike emplacement, heralding a shift in their individual tectonic destinies. According to recent reconstructions, the North China Craton not only connected to North Australia between 1.78 and 1.32 billion years ago, but it also experienced long-term subduction along its southern margin during this period. The presence of andesitic and basaltic andesitic volcanic rocks in the Mesoproterozoic Chionga group of the southern North China block suggests continuous magmatism from 1.78 to 1.75 billion years ago, likely due to subduction-driven processes. This is further supported by minor falcic rocks that erupted around 1.45 billion years ago, indicating prolonged magmatic activity. Additionally, multi-stage intracontinental rifting occurred along the northern margin of North China, leading to the deposition of thick clastic and carbonate sequences between 1.7 and 1.4 billion years ago, further aligning with the tectonic evolution of the Macarthur Basin in North Australia. The extended history of subduction, magmatic activity, and intracontinental rifting reinforces the idea that North China and the North Australian cratons were not only connected, but also dynamically interacting along their margins. Additional evidence for the geological connection between these two cratons comes from structural similarities in their basement rocks. Deep crustal seismic imaging and isotopic analysis of the lithospheric mantle beneath both regions have revealed comparable compositions and geophysical characteristics. These findings suggest that the lower crust and mantle lithosphere of the North China and North Australian cratons may have originated from the same Proterozoic tectonic processes further supporting their past connection within Nuna. Another intriguing aspect of this connection is the possible role of Nuna's breakup in influencing the future tectonic history of these cratons. After their separation at 1.32 billion years ago, both cratons followed distinct geological paths, yet their shared past left lasting imprints in their crustal architecture. The structural weaknesses inherited from Nuna's fragmentation may have influenced later tectonic events, such as the subsequent assembly of Rodinia and Gondwana, as well as the eventual drift of these landmasses into their present day configurations. Further evidence for the deep-rooted connection between these cratons can be found in the similarity of their tectonothermal histories. Both the North China and North Australian cratons exhibit a record of high-grade metamorphism and regional deformation events that align chronologically, suggesting a shared tectonic regime during Nuna's existence. The presence of granulite facies metamorphic rocks, with similar pressure temperature histories in both cratons, indicates that they may have been subjected to the same deep crustal processes, possibly as part of a larger orogenic system that affected Nuna's core. These findings emphasize that their association was not only superficial, but extended into the deep lithosphere, reinforcing the hypothesis that they formed part of a cohesive and long-lived geological entity within Nuna. The enduring link between the North China Craton and the North Australian Craton within Noona 
is one of the most compelling examples of long-lived Cratonic association in Proterozoic history. Their connection is evident through an extraordinary alignment of paleomagnetic poles, sedimentary and fossil records, geochemical signatures, mineral deposits, and tectonic histories. For nearly half a billion years, these two landmasses moved as a unified entity within Nuna, sharing geological processes and environmental conditions that shape their evolution. The eventual breakup of Nuna, around 1.32 billion years ago, marked the end of this long-standing connection. Yet the geological legacy of their shared past remains preserved in the rocks. I hope you found this as interesting as I did. And as always, thanks for watching. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.